Oh god no not this song. You're gonna get a copyright claim from someone who used a sample of it in their own song. No seriously, this has been a rampant issue lately with Temple of Light and Interlude from the Fable 1 soundtrack. There's not even an option in the claim appeal to say that the source of the copyright claim isn't even the rightful owner of the audio in question. It's fucking stupid, but that's what YouTube is now I guess. But seriously, play a different song please. So I guess we're doing this again. It's fine though, because I get paid more for every frame I'm on screen. Maze were just text to speech voices. These videos aren't even being monetized. This is all a completely free production. Where in the contract did it say that? There wasn't even a contract. I'm gonna need to have some words with someone after this episode, but anyway. Last time on Fable, the lost memeverse, the hero of John Fable Oakvale helped a chicken contest owner to get rid of a ghost, by giving the ghost's wife some gold he left for her, ripped off the codec from Metal Gear Solid, gained entry into Twin Blades camp, cheated at a pub game and gave Twin Blade a beatdown after being reminded of why speedrunners shouldn't skip cutscenes. What sort of wacky antics will ass face of Oakvale get into now that he's gained some more renown? Will I continue to avoid being ousted as a traitor? Will we finally see our first Demon Door interaction of the series? Find out today on Fable, The Lost Memeverse. Now I need to actually watch that last episode because I feel like there's gonna be something I need to know in there for this one. Hang on. Before we start, I wanted to mention that I brought a friend along with me. Oh yeah, that's fine. Coolio. I need to see your Fist Fighters passes bucko. Fist Fighters passes? You mean to tell me you guys aren't just all the same NPCs, going from town to town and beating each other up every night? No, the Bowstone and Lurkval Fist Fighters are all their own clubs, but they award passes to take part in high rank punch club circles. So you need to beat the Bowstone Fighters first, then the Urgval Fighters, and then I can let you fight us here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Sounds good, but don't take too long. Hey wait a second, didn't I just see you at Twinblades Elite Camp? No, that was Rind, a guy who looks and sounds just like me. My name is Rund. Alright well here's your 50 gold entrance fee, let's get physicals. I think you mean, let's get physical mate. When you get physical mate, you're gonna need a physical mate. I know full well what I said. A few moments later. That makes you the new champion. Alright, I got this one. Your name is Rond. Actually it's rental, but A plus for effort. Damn, what's the entrance fee for your group? 50 gold. Alright here you go. Time to loosen those teeth. Hey that's my line. I'll take care of you, myself. You line stealing son of a bitch. A few moments later. I guess that makes you the new champion. Alright Rind, I'm back. And I brought a different friend along with me. Oh yeah, that's cool. Got your passes now. And the entrance fee of 50 gold. Alright, my turn. That's some knuckle power you've got there, that makes you the new champion. So I was just conferring with the guildmaster about what type of cake to order for. Where's your sister son? I'm not sure, 
She was gone after the camera changed angle back to me. What do you mean you're not sure? You were supposed to have a jolly reunion and everything. Damn it all. I mean I'm sure she'll find her way. Turns out she actually was in fact twin blade Cirrus like you originally said. Ahem, did I really say that? I might have been a bit tipsy when I said it. The Bowerstone South Tavern does have some pretty strong beer, so I guess that turned out to be one hell of a guess. Ha 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 ha. Um, anyway, I'm just glad you found her alive and well. I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, yeah, she was alive but she's, she's also, also blind, blind now. now. What? Maze, be real with me here. Is there anything, anything at all, anything like super duper massively mega important you'd like to share with me? I was watching over your guild seal. Cause you know, I can't do that. The way you took Twin Blade down was very becoming of a hero. Why didn't you say anything while I was fighting him? Because. I didn't want to. Distract you. What did I take him down with? It was a multi-strike. Wasn't it? Okay, just making sure. You've seemed like you've been hiding something from me since you rescued me. Phew. Bullet dodge I mean I can't let all my secrets loose. I need to save something for my reveal later in the series. Speaking of later in the series, let's talk plot for a bit here. What's the deal you maze EO? An old friend of mine went missing a couple weeks ago. I was actually kinda hoping you could do me a favor and find him. I mean I don't have too much else that's pressing on my plate, except finding books for the Bowerstone South School Library, but I'll get to that soon enough. What's their name and where were they last seen? Funny story actually, I don't remember his real name. He calls himself the Archaeologist, you know how people on Twitch are all like, sup xx69 sniper king 420xx. It's like that, only less childish. I always did find it peculiar since he was a pretty savvy trader once upon a time, and he was apparently last seen out in Witchwood, which the game conveniently will let you travel to now. Even though every other colors gate so far has been linked to your guild seal by proxy. Sounds like a plan, I'll go see if I can uncover his whereabouts. I haven't had the time to look for him myself because I've been swamped with final exams lately, even though you never see any other heroes other than Briar, Thunder, Whisper, and myself outside of the guild. Oh and I guess Twin Blade, but you killed him so everything's all Gucci. I'm just going to assume you stopped watching after I downed him with that multi-strike. You mean you didn't kill him? Oh. Ha. Huh. That was pretty damn noble of you kiddo. It's reassuring to know that you don't have a thirst for blood. Why is that reassuring? Oh hey, look what time it is. It's get on with the rest of the episode o'clock. Better get a move on and find the archaeologist. I know what you did to my cousin in Dark Woodwear. You're going to pay for that. I up. Can't help but notice you don't have a barrier behind you, preventing me from just moving to the next zone. What? Oh, never mind that little detail. I'm gonna kill you now. Oh damn it, he slipped past me. Why does the barrier have to be tied to the focus sight's quest and not me? Oh hey, the first Demon Door interaction of the series. I'm sure it will be both memorable and hilarious. Shit. Huh? Shit. Shit? Shit. Why do you keep saying shit? My name. Your name? My name. Spelled backwards is Disney? What? Hell no. This isn't a just a pancake Kingdom Hearts video. I only open for those who know my name. Alright, so what's your name? It's shit. Wait really? It's shit. Nobody knows what my name is though. But you just told me it's shit. It is shit. And there's definitely not a guy that knows my name at the Temple of Avo. When you have your answer, just hit the stones down the hill to spell my name. Just be aware though that my name is very much shit. Good day, hero. Need a good sword to fight beside you. No, I'm not hiring. I'm just looking for a guy who's definitely not here at the Temple of Avo, and definitely doesn't know a demon door's name. Oh, you wanna talk to that guy over there? He's a bit of a pushover but you didn't hear that from me. Because this is original dialogue for the sake of this episode. I'm also saying this because I don't want you to sacrifice me to the Chapel of Scorm in a later episode. Understandable have a nice day. You probably saw that demon door on your way here I bet. 
I can tell you its name in exchange for something. Maybe red. Definitely shiny. Just give me a ruby please. I lost my Pokemon ruby forever ago though. What? No, I meant like, a literal ruby. And besides, Sapphire was the better game anyway. I don't have a literal ruby either. Then I guess you won't get the name of the demon door ha 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 ow. Right in my fabulous spot. His name is Hits you lunatic. Hits? But he told me his name is shit. His name is Hits. Oh whatever, I'll just try both. S. H. I. T. S. H. I. T. Chip. Oh, hum, shit, as in, shit, that escalated quickly. H I T S H I T S Hits You actually thought my name was literally shit? I can't believe you. Don't you hop down my throat. You kept saying your name was shit. It is shit, because Hits is a shit name. Who the fuck names a demon door Hits anyway? Your help is critical. Guildmaster, not now. So you found me. That's just grand. If you can find me so can A. I'm not even an archaeologist, I'm just an ex-trophy dealer who thought those focus sites were interesting. I even have an unused scrumpy crate trophy for sale, but since you opened my cave, I'm not selling it to you. I came to find you because of Maze. He said you were an old friend of his. Doesn't ring a bell. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now, it's not safe in here anymore, thanks to you. Wait before you go, I have a mega serious question to ask you. And just what is that? Did you hear that Playground Games are making a new Fable game? Who hasn't at this point? Fair. What would you like to see out of it? Me, leaving this cave and never being seen again. Which if I'm not careful may just happen in this game too. The least you can do is wish me luck with social distancing because, just to throw it in your face again, you opened my damned cave. I hope I can find a tailor that can sew me a veil for my face soon. There better not be some plague sweeping the world right now or I swear to Avo, I'm gonna take that OP looking sword off your back and kill you with it. You actually found him? Fantastic news. Thanks to you, I'm sure we can keep him safe. What's that? Yes I'm talking to John right now. He's in Witchwood right now. I'll tell him right now. You should come back to the guild John. There's an important quest card waiting for you. It seems not whole Glade is in some trouble or something. The town is often under siege by bandits and people are usually getting kidnapped left and right over there. Anyway John make sure you come straight back to the guild. Is there a color escape there? Indeed there is, but you should come back to the guild now. Is the game gonna conveniently let me teleport there like with Witchwood Colors Gate? No, why would it, kids these days? Next thing you'll be asking for is a golden trail telling you where you should go at all times. Then I'm going to not hold Glade first, then back to the guild. Yeah yeah whatever, just make it snappy. What is this King Arthur looking sword doing in this King Arthur looking rock? Have you not heard the legend of this sword? A knight of the old kingdom named Hugh wielded a sword. This King Arthur looking sword. It cut through humans, demons, and monsters alike, like a hot knife through butter. It possessed power that no mere mortal could control. As he died, Hugh thrust that King Arthur looking sword into this King Arthur looking stone you see here. Legends say that only someone as strong as Hugh himself, can remove it from this stone, from which the sword can never be removed. Maybe it's an old wives tale. Maybe it's just a fake. I don't mean to brag, but I've been really lifting those crates at work. Why don't you give it a go, hero? Hard lines. Why don't you try an exercise? Beef yourself up.
I think I'll just come back after I've become a god bound in human form because of all the experience I'll get from a later episode. But before I leave, I'm gonna commit some tax fraud. I mean donate some money to the Temple of Avo, that I might possibly receive a blessing. Perhaps a legendary weapon or something. Imagine actually having this much gold without buy sell exploiting, am I right? Actually wait, never mind, I don't have enough to be of any benefit to anyone. Understandable, have a great mace. Suckers. Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? But Guildmaster, just look at this really quick. The town is all completely normal behind this gate. See? Shops are open, people are out and about. I can even play card sorting if I wanted to. Seems like everything will be fine as long as they keep the gates closed and practice proper safety. You know, nobody comes out or goes in sort of deal. Well except for me and my summon creature, I suppose. Ah, there is an important quest card in the guild for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get through this last segment of the video before we roll the end title card. Well, you kind of had to see this one coming, but it's time for another Arse Facts, with your boy, Arse Face. Today's segment features the trophy dealer, better known as the archaeologist. Turns out that this guy is internally referred to as the trophy dealer by the game. If you ever spam the interact button on your keyboard or controller before the autosave, the game can show up at the do you want to trade box because the archaeologist is actually a trader who specializes in trophies. Nothing will happen if you say yes or no because the game just autosaves and the trophy dealer is yeeted from existence. You can see on the table that his trophies for sale are still there before you leave Witchwood Cave, however they will cease to exist if you leave and return. If you mod the game to make him accessible outside of the quest, you can actually access his window. He even has an otherwise unused trophy called the Scrumpy Crate. Even with a guy level high enough to use the steel expression, the trophy cannot be gotten from the table. He even has some unique trader voice lines as can be heard here. Come over here for the trophies that you've always dreamed of. Trophies! Lovely trophies! <laughs> Using a tem mode to acquire his trophies has proven not helpful, as the trophy dealer will only exist in the cave for the Find the Archaeologist quest, and the quest will end as soon as you enter the cave and the cutscene ends. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to grab a quest card to defend not whole glade from Balverines, even though I'm already here, and this is a detail of the game I've never really understood but we'll cross that bridge next episode I'm sure. I have a bad feeling about this.